Welcome back everyone to Let's Play A Legionary's Life episode number 5. And I did it! I did the math! <laughs> I just took um, that last fight we ran and I just grabbed the first 26 occurrences. Um, <clears throat> so I even time labeled this is 29 minute mark in the previous video. Uh, we missed... is this showing up? Yeah, good. So then we, we missed the head, we missed the torso. Anyway, so zero is it was success. I mean zero is fail, one is success. You take this average, you get 46.1%. You take, I, I approximated, usually to the nearest five, what I thought the the little circle, the little meter was showing. And if this was like 70 or 65, whatever, then I would put that number here. And this is the number that I predicted I should have, 62.7. And I did not even get... 50% of the rolls. So what this means is the game's math is off. Now this is only a count of 26. That's about the time when you expect, around 30 you expect statistics to start to kick in at least a little bit. So I don't know what's going on. I, I'm i tempted to send this to the developers, as I said. I mean, I basically have only done the math. I haven't done anything else. You could get very unlucky. That could happen. But unfortunately, I would say that that's not just that's not just a one-time thing. I feel like I'm getting very, very unlucky many times. So we're going to start with this game again. I probably should have just brought you in when this was already rolled, but uh, we already know what we're looking for. Really good characteristics. We don't want uh, low strength this time. I think I undervalued that. I think... Yeah, so... I might even just... Let me just pause the recording, and I will come back when I find one that that I like. Okay, well I've re-rolled uh, many, many, many times. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, th I feel like the game has been patched and it's much harder to get the crazy... Uh, they lowered the standard deviation on these rolls, I think. It's so harder to get the crazy rolls that you know you can use to your advantage. This is pretty good. Um, it's gonna be... it's gonna have to be good enough because I can't roll anymore. We'll just have to pump a lot of points into Charisma Tortuga 4. I was going to do some pun, forgetful, but let's not. So let's pump up the strength because I'm now finding that that is an important one. And we'll also want to pump up charisma probably at least this much. We'll go with 53. I also think awareness is kind of important. Um... Quickness. Intellect I don't think is as important. I'm starting to weigh it a little bit less. Yeah, I think we'll go for combat skills for the rest. Constitution, I mean, that could save us. Let's go for quickness. Coordination, oh my gosh. All the coordinations. We'll take away quickness to go coordination. We'll take away... Well, honestly, I'll take away quickness again to go coordination as many times as I need. Do I take away a strength for coordination? Probably. Actually, I think I'm going to take away awareness for coordination instead. Okay, yeah, there it is. So we still, <laughs> unfortunately, we have 24 points remaining, which means, I mean, I guess the good news is we'll be able to buy, we'll probably end up buying a sword this time for, oh, this is such a garbage sword, though. Actually, we're viewing something which does have better damage and has higher anti-armor. So maybe it is worth taking... Let's take a look at what else we might be able to do with our... What do we have? 24 points? It's not enough for us to get a light Celtic helmet. We get a light Celtic helmet, which I don't think is much better, uh, because you almost never use your helmet. Um, pectoral blade, this would cost us 20, and I think it's... <laughs> it's hard to say it's worth it, because, again, you almost never use your... Until you get to this higher stuff, It's almost you're just almost never going to use it. So I think what I'll do is I'll take the better sword. Um, let's compare this one. How, how good is this? 4 to 15. It does have better handiness, so we we'll probably will survive a little bit better. Uh, that does seem pretty good. We have to lose... I mean, the problem is you can buy this stuff in-game, so I don't like to lose points for it. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to. Okay, so let's just take the slightly better sword. And... Gosh, is it worth it? I mean, if we get this this helmet, we probably don't need to get another helmet. 
Well, I don't even know about that. <laughs> it's just... Eh. 20... Well, we'll just give ourselves 15 more money. Okay. You guys have all seen this, so... <laughs> On we go. Let's train. We're gonna go for strength and constitution. Quickness. Coordination. Let's train our sword up. A lot. Okay, let's use a... Let's see, our intellect is pretty good, right? 57, yeah, that's pretty good. Oops. Let's do board game. And we gain three denarii. Let's go back and train again. Okay, good. We've known Quintus Lebianus since we were kids. Now he's in the same maniple as me. You've noticed he's been acting strangely, or acting very nervously as of late. We'll ask him what's wrong. And okay. So apparently the way this goes is charisma is the most important, intelligence is also contribution, and so is awareness. After a little persuasion, you convince him to spit it out. You remember that Quintus lost his father in the disaster of Canae about six years ago, or Canae. Then again, there is hardly anyone in Rome who has not lost someone on that grievous day. Your leaders believe that they could crush Hannibal's army by sheer force of numbers. You proved them wrong, the harshest lesson ever taught in living memory. Quintus has been waiting for a chance to fight back for such a long time, and yet now that his opportunity is drawing near, his fear of dying is in, in the impending battles is prevailing. One can hardly blame him, considering you, that your armies faced disaster on disaster since the war began. After sharing his concerns with you, Quintus looks overly re relieved. He thanks you for the talk and goes about his business. So virtue up by two, opinion up by three, all good stuff. Let's solo practice some more. Um, now let's go back to the workouts. I want to use these workouts as often as possible, honestly. Okay, let's uh, play a board game. We lost two denarii, and let's go back to practice. Our sword is going to be pretty good. <laughs> I don't think, since javelin's only used at the very, very beginning, it doesn't feel very worth it to use. Um, okay, let's go back and play a board game. Morale increase. This is the best one. It's the one I like to see. Now we could also offer sacrifice, which is going to increase our morale by a ton. Uh, coordination. Yeah. Endurance. Also good. Constitution. Boy, we aren't getting strength, but that's okay. Scaling walls is part of today's drill. We can hold down control to see your attributes and skills. Very good. So, I mean, we're doing really well. I'm pretty, pretty happy with this character. I could, I, I would like better charisma, but in front of your line of ladders propped against the walls. One by one, how do we approach this? We'll do nonchalant and casual, confident. And unharmed, good. That's all good. Uh, strength, damn it. Okay, let's try over here. Solo practice. Let's spar anyone, we finally got our shield. Get some money. I, I would kinda like to focus on shield down here because, well, I, th I think it's gonna be more important. Um, let's just play one more board game. Two more board games. And now let's just go for broke here. Uh, no, I really need this. Okay, winter is especially harsh. Equipment penalties are suspended. Without proper equipment, you'll have a hard time dealing with it. Buy adequate clothing and sleeping gear for 25. Don't buy anything, you'll be fine. Let's just do it. I don't care about the money as much as I care about surviving and whatever that would have cost me. Probably some health, which would mean morale. Or who knows? How's our morale? It's like doing very good, so we really don't even need to pay for the, the temple worship stuff. Constitution. We're up there though. Um, how is this, by the way? Huge morale boost. We're doing okay. We're almost out of time. I feel like we should just try to push. <laughs> Minor. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a lot of morale to lose per turn. Let's just do play board game. Okay, we lost money, but we gained, and this is the last tick, so I'm gonna do it. Strength! No! Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, let's skip this. We've already gone through this once before, so... I feel like our stats are in really good shape. So this is the militia fight. Here we go again. And we did not embarrass ourselves, which is good. We'll throw another javelin. And we missed it. We're still not slow enough, though, to actually cause any harm. We'll recover just waiting for... As soon as we recover... 
<laughs> Please. I have proof. Oh my gosh, we got hit. I have proof of your terrible whatever. Your terrible uh, rolls against me game. Stop with that nonsense. Alright, so let's feint. I think we might even go hardcore. Nah, we can. We have a pretty good chance of hitting him with this. That was pretty good. He succeeded. We'll just keep doing it. One of these times he's not going to succeed, and then we'll, that's when we crank and we go normal. Resisted. He did get back, and he got another hit. Well, what happens if we just crank on him? What happens if we just... Boy. We could also just attack wildly. 50% um, chance, but that actually makes us a lot weaker if we miss. So, no, I don't want to do that. Stick to our quick feints. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, now let's go ahead and hit his head. 21, oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. We could actually land a feint here. I know this is crazy, but it'll make it so it doesn't even matter if he recovers. We'll still, oh my gosh, he resisted. Well, let's just go ahead and attack. Let's not risk it. Oh my gosh, we missed. <laughs> So I think it's still a decent chance to, but I think what we ought to do is recover. And it'll give him one free recovery, but we'll just go ahead and put him back in the submission. I think we'll do it once more, get him like basically down to zero. Even if he recovers, it's fine. We can just do it again, or we can attack him. I mean, 75% chance I'm gonna roll it. Oh, nine is not nearly as good as I was hoping. And we get to go again. Let's just do two feints. He failed. I think we're going to be able to kill this guy. 12 damage. Did fail. And that was probably the end of it for him. Got him. Okay, so the situation is shifting. We're going to get a new Militiaman. But I don't think it really matters. Um, we're not going to take the next one, right? So we're just going to fight pretty defensively. And I don't think we're going to have any... Good. I don't think we're going to have any problems just even with our respite. Um, we'll heal it all up by the next one. Or we'll recover it all. I still will go for some feints because this is, again, the most effective way to keep him on the defensive. Just make sure he can't do anything. Ow. Oh. Okay, and there it is. I would say this is a good start. Um, okay, so we did get a we uh, first notch on our belt. Oh, Century beckons you. Okay, good. So we're going to... we This is one of the chosen ones. We're going to be part of the 500 group assailing the walls where they're not defended. And... Um, we didn't have much success with this last time, but let's try it again. Oh, success. So with that, maybe we will just go balls to the wall. 75% chance, I mean, it's very tempting. He did recover right away. Now, unfortunately, recovery does not seem to take as much as faint. Wow, we missed it. Oh, but that's fine. I mean, we're expecting to miss sometimes. Do another faint. So, I mean, respite. Okay, let's put this one... Let's do, another, let's do a faint this time, actually, because... Good. Now, now it's time. Wow. Resisted. Okay. Well, we'll try that again. Oh, man. <laughs> We're getting lucky. I mean, he's still missing his there. It finally happened. Now we can start attacking his head. That's a really high percent chance. Okay. 19. He failed, and our buddies come. Unfortunately, they came just like a turn before I would have killed this guy on my own. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they did it. Okay. So that was good. There's no time to dwell. Just going to push forward. And here we go. Expert Militiamen. Is that... Eh, you know, when they say expert, I guess it's a relative term. Uh, my morale is doing okay. So... 36 and 30 are my skills. 36 is probably something like here. And 30, our defenses are about the same, but I guess that I have much higher. 
this is a little bit unnecessary to even chance that, but um, yeah, he's definitely better. I can see, you can see it with the, the percentages here. Let's play a little defensive. And now we can go forward. So I still think that my strategy is the best one, this faint business. And I know that it's uh, probably not as fun to watch because, but uh, look, an attack puts us on the back foot so much, especially, okay, look, if you're talking about the original militiamen, the weakest foes, or the ones that we dominate, I can see it. But against these, we I just don't see how you can justify it. Wow, so he charged, which is a very, it's a huge, it's either 80 to 100 stance reduction, basically complete stance reduction on your enemy, or you lose 30 to 60, he lost 50. So you can see it's, it's, it's a very bold move. And I really like that he did that because I think it favors us a ton. I think we could start hitting him right now. He doesn't have anything on his head, but look at that percentage, just barely over 50%. And I think it'll get a lot better if we just land a normal feint, which we did. And he failed his recovery, so now we can hit the head about 90% chance. That's a lot better. And he did succeed, but we can just keep with this faint battle. 32, does he recover? He succeeds. Back to this whole song and dance. We succeed. Will he recover? Boy, his recovery is usually 50%. <laughs> He's doing it. He's doing well. Um, we'll still go for it. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so we don't need to worry about it. We can just cut back and go respite. Now nah, we don't even need to do respite, but we will cut back so we don't get injured. We'll just do a quick feint. And he, wow, he just, he got all the way back. <laughs> Let's um go a little defensive and respite. And they're all attacking. This guy's just got nothing left. And, of course, this guy recovered. Um, yeah, let's go for a normal feint. You, I'm glad you fainted, because you, you really need it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess... Nah, I guess we don't. Just go for the quick feints. Try to allow our buddy... This guy just has a recovery... He's a recovery master. Because he's doing so well with recovery, let's just see... Coordination is really good, so probably his coordination is helping. I don't think anything... I, I think it's coordination and it must be awareness as well, which helps you with recovery. Regardless. Let's go for it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> there he goes again. I mean, he's very close to dead, but I, I guess we'll keep up our our part in this fight is just to simply wear this guy down so that our other friends can attack him. To me, it's a little strange that a quick attack, um, quick feint, costs as much fat fatigue as a deft one. But that's just the way the game is. We're doing that so that hopefully our friends can land there. They're just missing up the wazoo. All right, let's go. Forward, forward march. Another quick feint. Good. And he's still alive. Amazing. And he got two in a row. That's amazing. Look, if we land another hit, he's dead. But at the same time, I'd rather not... I'd rather not chance it taking any more damage. We really can't. You know, we might even go defensive and... Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Well, thank God he killed that guy because he just knocked me on my butt. Pity. I do like the virtue side, but since we chose that, we can't, you know, choose to abandon the rules. But I, I think that's fine. Okay. Um, we're going to volunteer. And good luck to us. We know what our what our deal is here. Just throw it into the enemy ranks. Main deal is play very defensive. So I don't think we're doing too bad. I feel like our stats are the best they've been. Let's close in. And now I just want to faint. Okay. 
Remember what I said about how armor wouldn't be important? Well, I was wrong. I almost think we just do respite. Oh, okay, well, then we'll just... I guess we'll attack him. Oh, gosh, what the frickin' heck, man? Jeez, man. <laughs> like, what? I'm not really sure. <laughs> He's getting very lucky. Finally, gives me an opportunity. We haven't had a challenge for a while, though, so this is kind of fun. I mean, we lost. I died him with my last character, but honestly, I don't think it was... It shouldn't have happened. <laughs> it really shouldn't have. So, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep pushing on this guy. We're going to get this happening every now and then. Oh, uh, that's really bad. Almost surely not going to be... So we're fighting at a disadvantage, I forgot that. Um, eventually my buddies will come, is that right? Wrong? I don't remember. Okay, I think that this is just going to be a normal attack. I don't... Oh, wow. He failed, but he gets two chances, and he succeeded, of course he did. Alright, let's go defensive and respite. Good. Back on the offensive. 50% chance. Mm, he resisted. Let's try it again. <laughs> failed. Let's try it a third time. <laughs> Finally. And he failed. Okay, so now we can start doing some damage. Head looks pretty impenetrable. Yeah, this guy's very well armored. So it looks like we'll be going for his leg. And we missed. And this is where it gets brutal. I mean... It's, it's just very important, like, once you get to this point, like, one miss and it's like your your turn is over. So I, I think the faint business is still the right one. Okay, good. Uh, let's do normal. Resisted. Huh. Funny thing about that is the normal one has almost no chance to be resisted. It's like 80% chance not to be resisted. And there we go. Back to respite. Okay, here we go again. You're getting the hang of it. I'm sure you are, just like me. <laughs> Let's try another quick one. Good. Succeeded. <laughs> okay, well, we just want to keep him... Keep it going. There it is. Uh, they will crumble after this, so we really just need to not fail. I wonder why, why my percentage went down. I still want to go for it, though. I mean, I, I just, yeah, it, little victories here are going to... Uh, well, that's not good. Little victories, I was going to say, are going to mean that we... Okay, well, now we got to recover. Ouch. Okay, we got it. We made it. And I think that that means... Oh, God. We have to fight another one? Ay, ay, ay. Well, this is... Difficult. I, I'm sure this is the, the final one, but it's <laughs> disconcerting that we have to survive another fight. <laughs> I think we got a little bit unlucky in the last one, but we'll only know that. Ugh! I, I was like, if he hits me, what am I going to do? Well, I saw mean, nothing I can do. Failed. Well, we gotta still go for it here because he is, he does have a, we basically need to stop him from hitting us. Way too low percentages. And one of those, missing one of those, oh god. Well, this is a, this game is a very cruel game. <laughs> I'm starting to lose my uh, patience for playing it. <laughs> Uh, I okay. Look at it. On the other hand, I'm. I know. I know. I know. We don't have to. We really don't have to. You know, do that. That um, volunteer duty, as somebody in my comments told me, which I think is pretty funny. 
Never volunteer for military duty. <laughs> anyway, let me put a pause here and we'll roll for some new stats. Okay, so I was looking into this one for a while before I decided I wanted to do it. Basically, my base stats for this guy were were very good. I'll let you see them here, but just wanted to see if it was worth taking. Um, so we have 73 for Constitution, which means this guy's going to have a lot of hit points. I think that's actually my least favorite stat out of everything here, um, because it's basically the... I want to make a character that doesn't even get hit. Um, but Constitution is 1 to 1 hit points, so gaining another 23 hit points over the base amount means we can essentially take like 2 or even 3 more hits, so it's pretty powerful. Uh, I still wanted to get um, Awareness up. Again, this is the one that... We cannot change this really outside of um, the very start. So same thing with Charisma. I wanted to get Charisma up as high as I could, and I was thinking about even doing Intellect, but I'm just going to leave it at 51. Oh well. Then we want to get Coordination up as high as we can get it. And then we still have uh, two points left. I can put probably both of those oh, const uh, probably both of those into strength yeah so we'll be 55 55 oh we could actually put one more into coordination which I think I'll do 54 56 you know what no I think I'll go 55 55 keep things more balanced and we have two points left which means that we don't need any new starting gear so that's easily done Okay, so a lot of clicking. Let's see how our workout goes here. It's a good start. Well, originally it was a good start. Let's train. Okay. Let's work out. Um, strength. Train. Uh, I kind of want to mix these up. I don't know if it helps at all. Let's go play dice because we're essentially it's a coin toss. With 51 of uh, 51 intelligence means that we're not really much better off. Uh, that was good. Let's train, solo practice, spar, solo practice. Uh, play some die. Ah, you know what? Let's see if we can squeeze out another thing of strength. Endurance. Okay, this has been good so far. Don't buy anything. We don't. I don't even know. I don't think we have the money to do it. And we be, we have some incredible constitution. What the hell? Our morale is still reduced by five. Damn. For succeeding? Weather's not getting any better, but thanks to your certainness, you can cope with most of it. Hmm. So that's just a bad event to roll. Even if you win, you lose. Literally a lose-lose. Uh, okay, so let's do our offer sacrifice. We gain 20 morale for at the cost of 40. So it's this guy again. Ask what's wrong. We actually passed. And we got a little bit of extra of something. Morale. No. Opinion. Both. I forget. No. Virtue and opinion, I think. So going back, what does our character need? I think we actually ought to be training up a lot our defense. That's the way we work best. So let's go to training and actually focus on shield. I mean, this seems to be working really well. And I want strength and constitution as well. Actually, I want endurance as well. Let's go back over and spar, shield, shield, workout, run, endurance, coordination. This is the best one. Let's just swim until we are we can't swim no more. Uh, morale is not doing so well. Let's play work. <laughs> Lost three dice. It's fine. doesn't matter. Do I want to, What do I want to do next? We're at 20, 35, 30. That's pretty good. This has a chance of getting both. Okay, it gave us shield. That's fine. So we have pretty good defense. But my, the best defense I've had moving moving in, so Let's see if that helps us. I did not train Javelin, so <laughs> this is still a crapshoot. And okay, these guys are pretty pathetic. Let's just close in directly. Wow. He actually went first. What kind of madman are you, Quickness? This guy's actually really good, except for his skills. But because his skills are so bad, we should have a good time. Should have. Okay, well, that's a good start. Boy, it just feels like we were just doing this. All right, he failed his knock. That's probably 
the last that he's going to do. Do normal feint to take... Wow, he resisted. Well, we can probably just swing for his head. 15, that's a good start. He succeeded. Now let's feint him back down. Good. Hmm. Another one of these guys who just refuses to, to be fainted. Let's try it again. 275% chance. Surely it can't fail. Boy. So I don't want to take any damage, though. So we will we will do only a, a defensive feint. Same thing here. Yeah, I mean, we definitely... Oh, man. It's just... It, I thought a uh, recovery is about a 50% chance. It's usually that much for me. Could be 55 or 60, but still, he's you know doing it every time. All right, there's our opening. 80% failed, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, I just may be cursed with the worst RNG. Uh, like maybe I need to buy a new computer like the CPU cores on this Intel has cursed me they made this it's like the the black sheep CPU that just knows exactly how to do the math shifting registers RNG whatever it is <laughs> uh, in a manner which really pisses me off I'm not actually that mad it's just it's it's actually kind of amusing <laughs> this guy is insane it's actually pretty amusing when you think about it how I can't possibly... You know, I, I guess I ought to attack. Because we're not going to land a hit anyway. And now we can recover, since he always recovers. We will also always recover. He succeeded. That's amazing. And the recoveries are really succeeding just as much for me. Um, I think I'm just going to go swing for the fences here. See if I can get some damage in. Right before they fall apart. So we get almost the same. <laughs> we injured him, but we didn't kill him. We were not chosen. Oh, great. Let's do our best to help the Centurion, I think. No, let's actually do our best to stay alive. Ah, good. The defense training has been helpful. Okay, good. Uh, this is an expert militiaman. He's still not as good, but he's very good constitution. I actually prefer that over anything else. Um, just close in. Again, just a defensive feint. Now we can open up. Hmm. Well, two-thirds chance. 10% chance. Oh, this is insane. We got... Three chances in a row, and <laughs> uh, you gotta laugh. You gotta you gotta laugh to keep from crying. Well, no sense in being like that forward about it. We probably should even be defensive, but I'm gonna go with quick just because I really want to land this. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me! Very bizarre how this is working. Now he doesn't have any. Let's go for it. Four damage, are you kidding me? That's better. 16. Okay, so that's fine. We'll just... I mean, we haven't taken any damage, so we really can volunteer for duty and not die, I feel. That's the good news. We'll just keep this guy on, on the, the back heel. Well, or not. Well, he's back all the way to full, so we'll just do a quick parry. Oh, that's good. Good. He. Oh, very nice. Okay, we got him. Very nice. And we'll feel pity, as usual. And now we can't stick. We have to stick to the rules. That's fine. I'm going to volunteer, damn it. <laughs> damn it, anyhow. All right, we didn't embarrass ourselves this time. That's good. We're just going to close in. This guy, he has pretty good quickness. I think we'll go first, but... 
just in case. Play defensive. Okay. We did not go first, but let's go ahead and... Oh, wow. Okay, we're off to a good start. A really good start. Let's try to take advantage of that. Again, we just want to buy time. There it is. Oh, God. Well, only minus two because we got lucky. He didn't... First of all, he didn't fully recover, which is a... unusual, but on top of that... Um... Oh, well, now I did. On top of that, our armor did block a lot. So you can see that we actually can handle a lot of damage. We will be able to take a lot of punishment. Ah, well, that's a bummer. <laughs> the only thing nice about having these turns, the multiple ones, is that um, we can just sit here and do nothing for a while. I think we'll faint at this, like here, just so... Yeah, I don't want to get penalties. So let's try to do respite. Ah, there's the minus one. Good. So now we can go forward and attack. Uh, let's go a quick one. I just really want to land it. Of course we don't. Let's faint again. Okay, I think this should be okay. Okay, once again, go fully aggressive. 50% chance. We got it. And finally he missed. Okay, so this is our opportunity to build upon that. We did. Now we have something going. Okay, so head is going to be very hard to attack. Again, it's going to be down to... His torso is apparently very, very, very well protected. So it's going to be down to the leg and the arm. Yeah, but once again, our main mission here is either to wear him out, which is perfectly fine if we do it that way, um, or just to not take damage. So that's what we want to do. Yeah, sure, but we'll just play this game with you all day. Miss. Good. Um, might actually be able to hit him. You know, one thing which would be nice if they included in the game is if you hit them enough, you do enough damage, they actually start getting worse. I mean, that's it's only fair that your character also suffers from... It, it would kind of create a, a slight snowball in the fights, which to me, by the way, makes sense, but I'm not sure actually... <laughs> I'd want it now that I say it out loud, because we'd probably suffer from it. <laughs> okay, I will attack here, because... We got a good shot. Just do a little bit of damage. Okay, now he's starting to do that, so let's go jump, jump back on the faint machine. Um, yeah, we're doing fine. We'll do another attack, I think. Okay, we will also recover. And there we go. So we didn't take really any damage. Our fatigue will all be gone for the next one. Like, we're in really, really good shape. This guy does not have very good quickness, so we will go first. We'll just close in. And I think I'll just do an attack directly. Hmm. Okay, let's go back and try to recover that. Good. Very good. Okay, well, that limits my options. <laughs> I guess we'll do a quick one. Ah, well, I, we're getting lucky with the armor absorption stuff. I mean, just it's incredible how 70 whatever coordination just, we, don't, we almost don't even care. <laughs> it's like, whatever, <laughs> we'll take that damage. I'm almost more worried about um, the morale of not going defensive. Okay, so we'll try to build upon this success. We did, and he didn't recover, so let's just keep building our little wall here. And that was short-lived. Okay, well, that's fine. We go back to defensive. And really, it's time to call this episode to a close. Boy, right in time for us to get nailed with that pretty monstrous faint. Uh, we do want to recover again. I don't want to recover. Okay, good. Let's try this again. We'll just let this one drag over to 40 minutes. Um, let's go for the quick. Failed. Succeeded. Time for some respite, I think. Okay. Switch on over again. Back to quick faint failed. We can try it again. 
slightly resisted, and he failed his recovery. Okay, well, we can get there eventually, maybe. <laughs> Starting to look a little bit better now. Very good, and he missed it, so we can actually bring him down to zero, or we can actually take a swing. I still very much doubt that we're actually going to kill this guy, so to me, the best situation seems to be... Actually, we have a pretty good chance of... The thing is, I'm not even worried about killing this guy. I don't, it sounds bizarre, but I'm, not, I'm really not interested in killing him. I, the only thing I really care about is keeping him down, so he can't kill me. So, we just I think we just play this War of Attrition. And that the situation won't last much longer. So we're a little bit fatigued, but the, I mean that that's not the important thing. The important thing is that even if he recovers once, we've kept him basically, you know, extremely low in terms of uh, stance. And there it is. We survived. We didn't even take that much damage. I feel like we're not even going to have a huge morale hit. Okay, so our morale has increased by 8. We got 80. We got 100 for the extra assault. And we should be good. We guess we get 3 skills for all that stuff. And we're on our merry way. So this looks like a good place to call it to a close. Uh, I am going to do my best. I'm going to kind of shift gears, actually. I'm going to do my best to keep this character alive. I may play a little bit less risky now that we've survived the initial chapter. Uh, in the initial chapter, this is how I play almost every game. I really go for broke, just try to roll all the dice. I will take a dead character, re-roll him, and just keep waiting until I have a character who survives, who's in a better position moving beyond chapter one. Now that I've made it beyond that initial one, um, I'm going to focus a little bit more on trying to stay alive. But we'll do that in the next episode. So for now, thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.